Hi, my name is Guy Fredrickson. Today is Friday, August 19th, 2022. And this is an update video on the restoration of this 1960s Chris Craft mast. In the previous video, I showed you how I got these horns working again. So now I just want to show you the completed assembly and the mast. So one change I made was with regards to the grounding. So originally, just the positive leads came into the horns. And then the grounding was through the strap to the base. And then this base had a ground strap attached right here that, well, went back to the battery. However, the bracket between the horns and the base is made with five thin plates of steel that were rusted pretty badly. So I cleaned those up and gave them a coat of Rust-Oleum primer. And now being painted, I didn't want to count on this providing a good grounding path between the horn and the base. So I installed a uh, grounding lead directly off the horns. And you can see that strap right here. So that's the base. Oh. The screens, the original screens were missing, so I bought some of this 20 mesh screen, stainless steel screen off of Amazon, cut a two inch diameter circle and pressed these in place. And I think they'll stay nicely without needing to be glued. So the base is looking pretty good. And here's the mast. So the mast stands six feet tall Here's the mooring light on top. And in the last video, I showed you how I rebuilt the tip of this so I had a better anchor on the light. And then this bracket, I just put this on the main mast and leveled it and held it in place with a bead of epoxy on the top and the bottom. There are holes in it to accommodate wood screws in through the sides. But I didn't do that. It's just held in place with this uh, epoxy bead. The wings fit into this mount pretty loosely. So I built up some thickness with fiberglass and epoxy so they fit more snugly. And these are held in place with these four wood screws here. And then of course on the light, the two electrical leads go all the way through the mast about the bottom and then we have this cabling so I put these stainless steel brackets one on either side same down here and then I ran the cabling rather than just putting a hole through the wing and leaving it like that I insert these short pieces of quarter inch diameter stainless steel tubing as a guide for the cable. But I think it's looking pretty good. So that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.